Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can take meeting notes with Noplan. First I show you where you can actually add your meeting notes in Noplan system. Then I show your workflow, which works for me. And in the third step I want to show you how you can leverage Noplan's templating system or the integrated meeting notes feature to take your meeting notes. So first of all, where should you add your meeting notes? There are roughly three, way, three big ways how you can create the meeting note and where you can add it. The first one is you create one note per meeting and then you later interlink them. And then the question is in which folder should you add this meeting? If this meeting refers to a specific project, it's easy you create a project folder for this project and add it there. And then later you can archive this project if it's not relevant anymore. But if your meeting is about multiple projects, multiple clients, what you can do is uh, you can use the PARA system. And uh, PARA stands for Projects, Areas, Resources and Archives. And because the project folder doesn't work for you in this case, you could add the meeting node into your areas folder. An area could be, for example, if it's about a business and it's about marketing, but about multiple projects, then you could add this node into your areas folder marketing or business marketing or hiring or whatever. Or if it's not an area, you could have a topic under resources folder. Okay, the next way you can create a meeting note or where you can edit, you create one big meeting note and then you add one new heading for each meeting. Um, for example, you create the big meeting note here and then you have details and then you create the first heading for meeting one. Then you have the details of meeting one here, meeting two and so on. Details are here. And the advantage here is you can collapse those headings so you can hide irrelevant information. And uh, this is useful if your meeting notes are usually very short or your meetings are short or you in general don't take many meeting minutes then it's easier to use this. You don't need to jump between multiple uh, meetings. Also, when you have a lot of those meetings, then it's easier to scroll up and down and you can collapse them so you don't see things which you don't want to see at the moment. Uh, but if you have very long meeting notes or very long meetings and you write a lot, this becomes a bit difficult to use because then you have to scroll up and down a lot. Then I recommend, as I said before, you create one node per meeting and you can interlink them. So you have meeting one, you have the details here, and then instead of creating a second node, meeting two, you can say next, meeting two, and then uh, you click on the meeting two link and it will create meeting two for you. And you write the details below that. Okay, these are the these are two ways. Now the third way is you cr for each meeting uh, you add a heading to your daily notes. For example, we go to the daily note today and then you write below it meeting one and then details here. The problem with this one is you need to remember on which date the meeting was if you want to find the note later on or you add s some tags or mentions so it's easier to do use the search system. What I recommend is you use the daily notes as a, your inbox. So if you don't know where to put the note uh, at first, you create it in your daily notes. And later at the end of the day or next day, you actually, or at the end of the meeting, you file, you just cut out the meeting and create a note in the folder where it should belong. Um, basically you uh, f yeah, first capture it, then file it. Okay, these are the three ways. So you create one note per meeting, or you create one big note and you append each meeting as a heading, or you add the heading at first in your daily notes. So second, let's go to the uh, talk about the workflow. So I recommend you create your meeting note in advance. So for example, you have meeting one, and now you can add your agenda and think about the points you want to talk or add the points other people want to talk about. And then you add uh, uh, another heading for meeting minutes. And then the meeting starts and you actually start taking the meeting minutes or whatever is relevant. And you always can see uh, your agenda points and can talk about them and won't forget them. And the third step is, so the second one, you open it during the meeting at your meeting notes. 
And the th third step is, after the meeting, you review your meeting note and then you plan tasks, you create action points, you link relevant bullets into your project notes, for example. If we have these bullets here, you can, um, or this heading, if you have something like a, another subheading here, you can use this these things now in other nodes. For example, um, first of all, you need to activate uh, synced lines here in the preferences under lab. You check, you use the checkboxes here, so you can link to a specific bullet. Um, there are two ways you can link it. You can either create a link to the line or you copy the full line and if you change the content no plan will sync it between the nodes. Um, for example you copy the full uh, sync line this is useful if it's a very short one then let's create one project node some details so now we have um, copied the sync line and in the project node we can just paste it and if you change something this will be synced back to the original meeting node. You see, now it's bullet one, two, three. Or you take this, uh, because it's too long and it has lots of sub points, you can also create a link to this bullet. Go back to the project node. And now you have the link to the bullet. Or you create a link to your heading instead. So copy link to heading. You can also use this. So this is useful if you review your note and process it and create action points. You can also um, create a to-do and then schedule it to today, for example. So you know you need to do something after this meeting and you will see it in your references of the day. Okay, let's go back. So these are the, the, this is the workflow. You create the meeting note in advance, write, uh, jot down your ag agenda. In the meeting you uh, write down your meeting minutes and after the meeting you review your note, create action points and refer points, uh, bullet points and tasks in other notes. Okay, let's go to the last step, which is um, how to use the meeting note or the, the template system or the meeting note feature in NoPlan. Why would you use a template? Because it is a lot of work if you have a lot of meetings it will be work to always add the same structure. Like you have, um, maybe you always use agenda and meeting minutes. Maybe you want to add the date, the attendees and so on to capture all the details. And instead of writing it out every time, you can use the templates to do this for you. Also, the templates can help you to sort uh, your meeting note in a specific folder. Also, it can name the folder for you if you have something like monthly folders, like one month, one folder per month uh, in this case. And um, or you want to append um, the meeting node to a specific existing node um, at the bottom, always as uh, like one meeting in one heading in this big bigger meeting node. What we discussed before. Uh, so this can be done all automatically for you. So now I show you a couple of templates. So the first one um, creates a meeting note in a monthly folder. So I have already the monthly folders here, uh, for example, 08, August 2022, 09, September and so on. So I've prepended also the monthly digit, uh, like 08, 09 and so on. Uh, so you can sort it by title and will always stay in the correct order. So let's create one. So I, I click on this and now you see it created the note in this folder. It used the event name as the title and appended the date. So we don't, we just need the date of the day, like the 17th, because we already have the monthly, uh, the month in the folder. And you see the event is linked here. The attendees are visible here and added a separate separation line and added uh, the bullet, uh, the headings agenda and meeting minutes, which I always use for my meetings. So if we go to the template, just uh, I want to show you quickly how this works. So at the top, you have the front meta, which is a kind of metadata and tells Noplan how it should use it. So you use the title at the top, the type is meeting note. And here you see, I have defined the folder name, meeting notes, and then the subfolder. And as the monthly folder, I'm using a date tag, like event date, then the month, 
month uh, short form of the month as a text and then the year and then you also have a link to the documentation here and at the top it uses the title uh, event title of the event or the title of the event and then the event date and the, event, the calendar item link the event attendees and so on and my heading structure which I always use and you can if you have no templates at first you can tell Noplan to create a couple of defaults and then modify it and go to this link to learn more about how you can modify your templates. Okay, this was the first template I want to show you. The second one creates um, a note for each meeting in a bigger folder, like all meeting notes, and then it creates one note uh, per meeting. Now we need the month here and the year in the uh, title of the meeting note and otherwise the structure is similar. And the third way is you can append um, you can append your meeting note to an existing bigger note. So I don't have this big meeting note yet, but Noplan will automatically create it for me. Oh, it's already here. Uh, let's delete this. So the project uh, note is called Acme Project X. Now I want to have the meeting in here as a heading, for example. I use this template and now it created for me another heading again with the similar structure which you saw before. Now let's say this was the 15th and now we create, we use the same template again. It will append, oh, wait a moment, yeah, it will append the meeting or the next meeting below it with the date and the title. In this case we don't need the event title because we have it already in the project name, for example. So these are three examples of templates. You can create much more of this. And if you don't use templates, you can also uh, link your event to a node by simply dragging it. For example, we go to meeting one. We want to have the event here and you click on it, drag it and drop it here. Now this con by doing this, it connects your event with a node. And by what means connect, you see the small icon here, maybe, uh, maybe not. But you can then right click on this event and you see one option is linked nodes. And here you can then jump to the node where this event is linked. It can be also multiple nodes. It can be multiple events in one node. And this way you create just another link. So it's easier to find the relevant node later. Okay, that's all. This is how you can use the templates. And um, I hope this video was useful for you. If you have any questions, just write it in the comments below. And thanks for watching.